let's understand different optimizers. So Adam, adaptive momentum estimation. It computes adaptive learning rates for each parameter. It does this by uh, keeping the track of two moving averages. The first moment, uh, the mean of the gradients, like momentum. And second moment, the mean of the squared gradients. So just a bunch of averages. So on a steep slope, the ball uh, picks up speed, moves faster. That's the first momentum. So now, you know, on the gentle slope, it still has this speed, this fast movement. Uh, it's going to slow down a little bit, though. And uh, if slope changes directions, the gradient descent, the momentum will still resist the change. This eliminates noise where uh, different situations, different gradients uh, go up in a bit of random direction. So now they're all going to go in uh, kind of similar together in the same direction, the strongest direction. Then we have adaptive, lear adaptive learning rates. So not all parameters in a neural network are equally important or need to be updated at the same rate. Some parameters might have very consistent small gradients. We can be confident in their direction and want to update them more aggressively, uh, take bigger steps, because they're moving in the same direction consistently. So uh, just uh, speed it up. Other parameters might have very noisy large gradients. We should be more cautious and take smaller steps to avoid overshooting the minimum, especially if they're uh, a bit random, so you don't know where you're going now this way, now this way, now that way. This is the idea of adaptive uh, learning rates. So Adam gives uh, every single parameter its own uh, individual learning rate, which it adapt adapts as training goes on. It does this by keeping track of the squared gradients. You can ask AI to explain step by step these formulas, but this is uh, better for one on one learning with AI. Otherwise, it will be uh, too boring or difficult to understand if I just explained it. Also, the W in Adam W is for weight decay, a regularization, regularization technique used to prevent overfitting by penalizing uh, large model weights. You don't want large numbers in neural networks, they mess things up. But this W is just like a bug fix for Adam. You can check here. So, and Adam W is. Uh, Adam W with Nestero of momentum. So it's a bit uh, confusing to me as well, but instead of calculating momentum at the current spot, uh, it just sees if I was to use this momentum to make another step, where would I land? And calculate momentum from there. And then apply momentum from that future hypothetical step in, the, in this original step. This can somehow prevent uh, the optimizer from overshooting minimum and can lead to faster convergence. I'm going to look more into this, uh, maybe in a different video. I don't get it 100% how and why. Then we have Mars make variance reduction shine. Uh, this is made to handle the problem of variance in stochastic gradients. So when you train on a bunch of small batches, uh, they're just going to be noisy average of the big batch. So if you have one big batch, batch it's going to be average of all of the small batches. But in small batches, it's going to be like a bit of noise everywhere. Mars aims to reduce this uh, random noise. So we have a variance reduced estimate of the true gradient. It keeps track of updates of the previous batches and so kind of averages it uh, so it's not so noisy. It also does the uh, same as the per parameter update like Adam W the second momentum. Then cautious uh, has is a bit of a modification to momentum based optimizers like Adam W and Lion uh, only apply an update if optimizer is confident about the direction. So uh, there is a simple check. Does the direction of the gradient and momentum, the previous gradients, the momentum and the current gradient align by comparing their signs? If one goal wants to go in one direction and the other is has opposite sign the other direction, then the update is skipped, set to zero. This works well when the loss landscape is tricky. Lion? Lion is not designed by humans, it's designed by Google Brain's search algorithm to find a good performing, high performing algorithm. So one uh, the most important trick here is sign operator. Instead of scaling the update by the magnitude of the momentum, 
it simply takes the sign of the momentum. Interestingly, in Lion, the update is just learning rate times sign of the momentum, and that's it. That's also why it needs small learning rate, uh, because the learning rate is not reduced by anything else later. So we don't want uh, big, huge destabil destabilizing steps. Adam Mini uh, is designed to reduce the memory footprint because the Adam W stores first and second moment of every parameter in the model, which can take a lot of memory. So, you know, uh, in neural networks and models, you can divide parameters by blocks. For example, uh, all parameters in query projection in attention in one attention head. So, Adam Mini would store same learning rate for entire block. So, the same uh, the shared learning rate is computed by averaging the second moment estimates within that block. This drastically reduces the number of second moment values that need to be stored cutting the optimizer's memory usage by up to 50% and allowing for larger batch sizes or models, uh, or models to fit the same hardware. The muon is a bit tough to explain. So, uh, you know that when we multiply weights with no input numbers, the weight matrix, it's like a rotation. It rotates the entire space, the entire coordinate system. So, we want it only to rotate. We don't want it to stretch things. Because uh, stretching number, stretching matrix, stretching coordinate system is not good. <laughs> I don't know why. We just want it to rotate. So we make weight update matrix says matrices rotate. Muon is typically for 2D uh, weights in the neural network, not for all of the weights. And to understand like why does stretch, why is stretching not good? Why is only rotation good? There needs to be like a lot of math theory. I'm gonna go through that. I don't know yet uh, why. But we use this Newton-Schultz method to approximate uh, s s division with singular values. I'm not sure. I have a bunch of videos on a new muon optimizer, so you can just search my channel. But we just want to make uh, matrices rotate and not stretch. Cron is a type of second-order optimizer. So as I understand, this is second derivative that calculates if the loss surface is concave or convex. So the Hessian matrix. And because Hessian matrix is computationally impossible for large models, they use approximation method. So it uses this Kronecker product to approximate uh, of two much smaller matrices to approximate the big matrix. The optimizer uses preconditioner to rescale the gradients before updating the weights. Uh, so this is same as these other optimizers that kind of change up, uh, weight update matrices. Soap is shampoo with Adam in the preconditioner's eigenbasis. So it combines a powerful second order preconditioning of an optimizer called shampoo and the efficiency and stability of Adam. So shampoo is a good uh, optimizer but is computationally expensive. Shampoo is mathematically equivalent to running an Adam like optimizer, Ada factor, in a different coordinate system, the eigenbasis of shampoo's preconditioner. A bit tough to understand. Soap leverages this by calculating shampoo's powerful preconditioner less frequently. In between these expensive updates, it performs efficient Adam style updates within the rotated space defined by the last known preconditioner. This approach significantly reduces computational overhead while retaining most of the benefits of second order information. I think this is what we need to like study in a separate video, step by step. So that's going to be it. Nine optimizers because one I couldn't find information. So that's it for this video. Check out other videos on my channel and uh, see you next time.